I'm Bob Hallmark in Longview this morning. I'm at uh, Developmental Services today where we're going to talk something that most people know what the word is, but they probably don't know what it means. Annexation. Now in big metropolises, this happens quite often. Annexation means absorption of other communities for tax purposes and things of that nature. This is a little different and uh, to talk a little bit about an annexation that is coming up with uh, City Council, I guess, tomorrow, uh, tonight. Tonight. Is that right? mm -hmm. All right. We're going to talk with uh, City Planner Angela Choi. All right. And uh, tell me a little bit about what uh, what is happening here tonight. What are they going to consider here? Yeah. So we're um, annexing um, a portion of um, that is actually located in Gregg County. Mm -hmm. um, it is a voluntary annexation. Uh, the owner. Um, has requested annexation into the city limits of Longview um, so that they can receive city water and sewer and city services. And so this annexation is located on I-20 um, along uh, the, our, our, our I-20 access road um, near Eastman Road. Okay. Uh, now this is good news because uh, this is a voluntary annexation for a reason. Uh, we have the opportunity, I guess, to have a business uh, that is going to be started there, some sort of uh, understand tractor business is a possibility here. Is that right? Yes. Um, so the applicant um, is Bagley Tractor, and so I believe they're relocating. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, good news for the city. This is one where uh, you have uh, the opportunity, I guess, to, uh, it's an expansion that is welcomed at this point. Yes, that is correct. That's great news for the city. Now, what does this mean for uh, people that maybe don't understand the, the process of annexation. It's, a, it's, it's an application, basically. It's, it's a, a request for annexation. It is a request for annexation so that they can be included into the city limits. And so it is a request made by the owner um, of the property. And that's basically what you've said already. It's for city services, right? That is correct. Most people request annexation for city services. Okay. And that would include such things as water, uh, what else? Water, sewer, it could be trash pickup, depending on the type of trash pickup. But yeah, mainly water and sewer. Okay. And this comes up tonight at City Council? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, and I forgot police protection as well and fire protection. Oh, kind of important. Yeah, those are two important <laughs> things, yes. So uh, police and fire, obviously. Yes. What's the process here? Is it just by application, just the, the owner of the property or the adjacent property? Or how does so it annexation is very different. So it depends mm -hmm. on how the annexation is happening, where the annexation is. Um, but most of all the laws are determined by uh, the state of Texas. So it's in um, it's state law, okay. the process. All right, Angela, thank you. I appreciate You're welcome. That. All right, and we'll have much more on this tonight on KLTV 7 News. For KLTV Web Extra, I'm Bob Hallmark.